Always a special day on the calendar. Champions League final day, and it's a privilege to be bringing the game to you. My name's Derek Ray, joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. The atmosphere is building to fever pitch just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Manchester United against Paris Saint Germain. Well, I'm so excited for everybody, the fans, everybody connected to both clubs. But it's the players I'm so excited for. I've never actually played in a Champions League final, but played in other finals. I know what they're feeling. We can see the nerves already starting to jangle. How do you cope with those nerves, Derek? How do you settle yourself down before what's going to become probably the biggest game of your career? It is the game that the world truly focuses on. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the quest for European glory. Who's it going to be tonight, Lee? Well, it's a toss of a coin for me. It's a really big night for everybody. All that hard work leading up to pre-season training, going through your domestic league, playing Champions League on and off, the winter break, all of that culminates in tonight. Very, very big night for everybody concerned, supporters, but most so the players. They have to stay focused, play the game, not the occasion. Fred. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Victor Lindelof plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. And operating up front today, Edinson Cavani. Well, many of us still remember fondly when Kylian Mbappe broke through and now he just seems to get better and better with each passing yearly. Well, Derek, we all know what terrifies defenders' pace, but this lad takes that asset to a new level. It should be illegal to be able to run as fast as he does. And he's through here. Clean through he was then, but he's fluffed his lines, Lee. Well, he just put his head down, Derek, and hit it. He's got to do better than that. And the PSG team looks like this. Keylor Navas is the goalkeeper. Marquinhos plays alongside Presnel Kimpembe at the back. And the main striker is the precocious Kylian Mbappe. Mbappe. All the way through to the keeper then. Take it away. Gay. A super tackle and they've won possession. And successfully cut out. And Neymar. Di Maria in the centre. Disappointing cross and gobbled up by the keeper. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. And a good-looking ball. Fred. Shaw. Cavani. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Well, they have the ball once more. Paredes and a chance for him on the flank options in the middle so a throw in here the play was allowed to carry on but now that it's come to a halt a caution Lorenzi Marco Verratti in the middle Oh, he's given it! Penalty! And an opportunity now for them to jump in front. Well, a judgment call for the referee. Many an official would have cautioned him. He cannot believe he's missed it from the spot. Oh, dear, oh, dear. No, I can't believe it either. I've missed a few myself, but that one's just wide, but it's still a miss. Fred Cavani it's with McTominay Mason Greenwood 
Scott McTominay. Diallo. And the advantage is with PSG. They've won back possession. Cut out by Kim Bembe. Di Maria. In with a chance. The goal then for Paris Saint Germain, the first one of this Champions League final. Oh, they've got the noses in front. Can they stay there? Now the other team are playing catch up. So back in action, and it's up to United now to be inventive. Cavani. And he's in. Still alive. And problem solved for now. Oh, can they find the magic they need from this corner? And now the delivery. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Cavani. Given away by Manchester United. PSG possession stats are not too good. But again, we've seen it before. We'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Di Maria! So PSG hold the lead, and they have the corner now. Corner kick played in. The end product just wasn't there. Bruno Fernandes. On to Juan Bissaka. Bruno Fernandes has it. Fred. Cavani. It'll be a throw. They had to clear it. McTominay. Edinson Cavani now. Bruno Fernandes. Excellent defending. Getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Diallo. And PSG showing good width here. And they successfully got past him. Gay. An authoritative challenge. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Into the second half then, in this battle for Champions League glory. They might see the wide route as a fruitful one, PSG. Di Maria. Mbappe plays it back. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. An alert piece of defending. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Over it comes. Great chance with that header. But he sent it wide of the post. Well, it's quite easy to head that one over the bar. This time he just gets his angles wrong, just past the post. Maguire. Bruno Fernandes. Marquinhos. Verratti. Now, what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position? Can he take the chance? Well, he had designs on a double, but the goalkeeper wasn't having it. Well, he did better than the first time, the goalkeeper. What a save that is. It's Neymar's corner. Well, not the best clearance. 
He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Cavani. Now with Rashford. And the counter looks on here. Options available. This could level it. Oh, can you believe this? Just when it looked as though the door was locked, it's been reopened. Well, they're back in it, and you can hear the relief with their fans. Game on. Well, as we see, counter-attacking football at its purest. Superb use of pace. A fabulous goal. So, a level contest. 1-1. Space afforded him. PSG couldn't keep it. Shaw. Now with Rashford. Matic. It's a fine United move in the making. Still passing it around with authority. Chance to cross. Cavani, my goodness, that save, fully stretched he was, one for his own highlights reel. And over comes the corner. It hasn't come to very much. Moving forward effectively. Fred. Paredes. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Defenders need to cover. In with a chance! Great block. And firing it into the area. What a vital intervention. Gorgeous pass from Rashford. Bruno Fernandes. And with that, they take the lead. Well, just look at the celebrations, Derek. The fans are starting to believe it's theirs. Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens. And then through on goal, do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. In behind for him to chase. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Rashford cuts it back and lining it up he's got to score and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time and the counter-attack is on options available Di Maria inside the last quarter of an hour Fred Edinson Cavani now. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Mbappe. And a fine tackle. And the ball's gone. With their noses in front in the second half. What will be the thinking in the camp, Lee Dixon? This could square the game, but no, thanks to the goalkeeper, opportunity not taken. Well, he's the last line of defence for a reason. The back four looking back, and he saved them. An authoritative piece of defending from Alessandro Florenzi on that occasion. A chance maybe from the wide position. 
PSG chasing this game. They're not at... And still danger here. Oh, it's a penalty. How about that? And at this late stage, too, an opportunity for them to level matters. He's been admonished by the referee. He's now got to walk something of a tightrope. Yeah, he knows exactly where he stands. Look at the referee, how he's told him off there. No yellow card, but certainly knows what the referee's thinking. And in it goes, as coolly as you like. Never in any doubt from the spot. Well, here's the replay, and at one point the keeper might think he's got a chance with this. Absolutely no chance. He's right in the bottom corner. Lovely penalty. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Inside the final five minutes now. Still level here, but Manchester United making a push near the end. And the advantage is with PSG. Di Maria and space to attack and denied by the post well after that piece of woodwork bruising the goalkeeper can breathe a big sigh of relief well it's their best friend the woodwork keepers always tell me that it certainly helped him out there Fred Bruno Fernandes has it it's a fine United move in the making. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of it. Understandable that fatigue might set in. A strength-sapping night for all concerned as the first period of extra time begins. Cavani. Fred. Greenwood. Well, the defending needed to be a bit more switched on than that. Might jump in front. That is top-notch goalkeeping. He had to reach in with his hand. Yeah, it's all about reading the pace of the ball and the player's feet. When do I go down? When do I strip the ball? Did a brilliant job then. Di Maria. Oh, what an opportunity. He's foiled them on his own. Di Maria. Here's Mbappe, a really sumptuous ball, and still a chance. And a time for calm on the ball. Cavani. Manchester United have lost the ball. Made it a bit too easy for his opponent. Chance for Di Maria. And a goal! There he is, at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, here it is again, and I wonder how he waltzes past the defender so easily. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. So, back in business. Can Manchester United bounce back? Well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. Braxler. This is Neymar. And you don't want to lose possession there. Lorenzi. Excellent ball towards the front post. Well, he couldn't quite keep the header down. Well, it was the pace on the cross. Sometimes with that much power on the cross, just cushion it, otherwise it goes over. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Well, I'd be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. The first period of extra time is over. 15 minutes left. Well, the second period of extra time commences. What drama do we have in store for us? Dagba. 
Not giving him a moment's peace. Neymar. Here's Keane. And given away. Cavani. Very quick thinking there. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, it fizzled out. Bruno Fernandes. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Cavani. And here's Fred. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. They couldn't maintain possession. Fred. Here's Cavani. Well, visionary passing. He's in behind the defence here. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Time is fast running out. Five minutes left in the second period of extra time here. Options in the centre. And the problem not completely solved. Drexler! Well, it's really top-class play. Huge amount of work on the training ground in order to drill a team to be this capable of carrying out pressing football like this. Top draw. Given away by Manchester United. Can he make it count? And United have the corner. Over it comes. Pride shines through. PSG have cleared the final hurdle in the Champions League. Well, almost no words are needed. You just look down at the celebrations, the relief after the final whistle. Commiserations to the other players, but it's a celebration time now. All that sacrifice and commitment and desire 